guys thank you for stopping by to share with julie today i hope you're having a fantabulous day today guys it is another bright and beautiful day so i hope you're enjoying it wherever you are whether it is night or day or somewhere in between in this video guys i wanted to you know touch on dr sebi's um pillars i call these the pillars of dr sebi's you know approach to healing and when you look at it because dr sebi takes things down to the very basic level you know and that is where it really and truly need to go because oftentimes we believe we must know all the long names for this condition and that and that i mean that helps in terms of um you know categorizing symptoms but the very basic pillars of dr sebi's approach to healing is cleansing the body and feeding the body those are the pillars of dr sebi's approach to healing cleansing the body of all the things that have accumulated over those years that have caused the symptoms of dis-ease to manifest itself and so we begin to we cleanse the bowel we you know we cleanse the lymphatic system we you know cleanse the, the body get the, the respiratory um, system functioning properly you know cleanse the blood we cleanse the body and we also feed the body the nutrient it needs and one of the key nutrients of the african biomineral balance approach to healing is iron and Dr. Sebi has said this a few times, you know, that iron is a magnet, magnetic mineral. And so what you find is that plants that are rich in iron tend to have a um, good portion of other minerals that the body needs, especially those, you know, um, alkalizing minerals that we need. Because most of us have enough acid already we need those alkalizing minerals coming in and so we feed the body and you know so basically so this is i'm not going to make this a long video you know because it's just a reminder i'm sure many of you have heard dr semi speak about this time and time again but never forget because sometimes we get um confused and it gets too much when we hear these all these terms and these medical terms and these things that you can't even pronounce the names of, you know, and these are basically many um, symptoms that have manifested that they have categorized and labeled it um, one thing or another. But never forget that that is the focus we cleanse the body first we stop putting in the body the things that are um acidic and especially when one is in a really sick state you know you even have to go the extra mile if you're dealing with some really critical condition and go a hundred percent alkaline you know especially in those in those um, um situation and so stop stop you know give feed in the body you know these highly acidic foods cleanse the body cleanse the body and feed the body the nutrients that it needs and herbs are um you know it doesn't matter those you know you might go and you get the lettuce and you get you know these types of things but the herbs are very rich in the nutrients that we need and we can use them to help to get the body to the state of health that we need so never forget that guys <laughs> the two main pillars the cleansing cleansing the body and feeding the body the nutrients 
it needs so that's it in this video i'm sure i'll do another part or probably look at this um you know in depth at another time i hope you found this useful guys go out and enjoy the sun you know subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're informed when i have new videos out and most importantly guys don't forget be the change you'd like to see in this world. Have a 